This is Dabu7. You got to watch the signs. You got to watch what's happening here in terms of military maneuvers. And it's the small little things that go into motion that can ultimately spell out where everything is heading. It's no secret NATO, the United States, other countries have been mounting up on the doorstep of Russia for some time. I've reported on this for the past couple of years as they have sent troops into Poland, Lithuania, all around the region there on the, on the doorstep of Russia. Let's not forget the situation in Ukraine where NATO has vowed to take back Crimea from Russia. This is a very strategic spot for Russia. Their base of Sevastopol is really their, their most key base on a waterfront uh, outside of mainland Russia. And it's really a big target. They know this. Uh, the lights have been shut off there multiple times. NATO has vowed to wrestle it back away from, from Russia. But what we also have here is Kaliningrad. You cannot forget about this area that Russia swooped in and snatched up too. They are surrounded by other countries. The Kaliningrad is not connected to Russia. They can launch weapons by land, sea, and air from this spot. And it's one of the reasons I feel in the past they, they honed in on this spot uh, for a strategic asset to be able to do just this. So Russia in control of this little spot. So if you try to surpass Kaliningrad and try to attack Russia, Russia can then get you from behind. It's almost a must that you have to take out Kaliningrad. In one of the first blows, if not also the base in Crimea, if they were really wanting to do this. This is what is interesting. Russia is saying that it seems that after all this time, with all the war drums beating, that the small steps are actually being made, giving a sign that something big is about to happen. And what they mean by this is that Europe is urging its members to make its civilian infrastructure suitable for military maneuvers. I want you to stop and think about that for a minute. That they want everyone to make their streets, their roads, everything suitable for tanks and military hardware to come rolling into. And to also be able to hide in, to fight from, the whole nine. Now that Russia sees this, you can be pounding the war drums all you want, but when the little things like this start to happen, it raises huge red flags on the other side, and they see, okay, they're no longer just war gaming, practicing, or any of this other crap. Now they're making real-world moves to prepare for such events. So anytime you see them trying to hatch it down, a civilian infrastructure to make it suitable for military maneuvers? That's a bad sign. That's a sign war is to come around the corner. In what form, what fashion, all yet to be seen. How this whole thing's going to unravel, yet to be seen. But here on this world stage, I'm warning you. The staged events are at an all-time high. And all too often, they like to pull off an event to blame on someone else when it was really the powers that be that did it themselves. But this is just an update on the situation out here. I will continue to update if we see any other red flags or big signs connected to this. It's been Dabu7. Peace.